Hello friends, in this video I am going to discuss about how to connect MySQL with ASP.NET. So right here I am using Visual Studio 2019. So right here if I go on Tools tab, now here you can find connect to database. So there is no any option related with MySQL. So what we need to do next, the next is add here. We need to install two packages, MySQL Connector or MySQL for Visual Studio. So this you get from add here, MySQL site, MySQL Connector for NET, that is .NET. You can easily download this one. And here, MySQL for Visual Studio. Or select this link, after that, download. After downloading, you can get these two files. So we need to install these two files. So first I'm going to install MySQL connector for .NET. Now click next. Complete install. The installation part that has done for MySQL connector. Now here MySQL for Visual Studio. Double click. Now next, complete and start. And here you can see MySQL for Visual Studio that is installed. Now click on finish. Here after, if I go on tools tab, again connect to database. So and here it's so still not to displaying. So what we need to do? So we need to close this one. Let's open Visual Studio again. Now here after tools tab connect to database and this time you can see MySQL database there. Click on continue. Here you need to keep the server name that is localhost. User that is the root and here keep the password. Click on the test connection. Succeeded. Okay. And here select the database. Click on OK. So here you can see. So this is add here. Secular database and here this all tables. Now here after the next step is. So I'm going to write one code. and uh, paste uh, and here I am getting the masses MySQL connection the name is space or uh, could not find go to reference right click on the reference add reference now click on browse and here we need to go on C drive here you can see program files now press M from where you can see MySQL here MySQL connector assign this V and here you need to add this or uh, DL file click on add now ok So add here the file is so added MySQL. Now here it's right to using my SQL. If I press dot here dot if I press dot and here you can see MySQL client from there. Now they're all here that gone because I added add here important packages MySQL data. After that, you can perform any kind of uh, query. So, add here, here this is so uh, server localhost user root database secure and your password. And here, I'm using tab one table and inserting some values. So, if I execute this query, sorry, this code, 
and here this is the registration form so let's add some value Now here after accept click submit. The value successfully added. Now you can see the same value inside Visual Studio 2019. So this is at your table. Right click on the table and here retrieve data. So here you can see this value that I just added, it's come inside MySQL table. So this is the way we can connect MySQL with ASP.NET. So I hope guys this video is helpful for you. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next video.